Hey guys, I have here a box of assorted medical battery packs from Battery Hookup. Uh, they sent this box out to me and asked if I could recover the cells, do some testing, and to calculate out the price per kilowatt hour that this box would be valued at. Medical batteries tend to be replaced frequently to ensure reliability of equipment in hospitals and doctor's offices. So there is typically plenty of life left remaining in these batteries and cells, if they were even used at all in the first place. First and foremost, I want to weigh these and make sure I actually got 10 pounds as what's advertised. All right, so we're at nine pounds and 15.7 ounces, 15.8, so that's pretty much 10 pounds. We're good to go there. So of course, these larger ones will likely be the most interesting to open. Small battery packs like this, I can tell they are, you know, they're standard Sanyo 18650s based on the wrapper here. And I see a rating of 2.4 amp hours, so I know, and actually it tells you the exact uh, cell model number in this particular pack. And this one is rated at 3200 milliamp hours, so this should have some pretty good cells inside. No amp hour rating on this one, but we do have 39 watt hours, so we could calculate that out if we wanted to. So looking at this one, it's got an X through it, so that's kind of indicates that it may be a bad battery. So based on the size, this is probably a 3S 3P, so I'm guessing these are 2000 milliamp hour cells. Here we've got 6000 milliamp hours at 11.1 .1 volts. Again, probably another 3S 3P. As we go up the scale in size, this one is 14.4 volts, and that's going to be 4S, most likely 3P if I had to guess. And lastly, the largest battery pack comes in at 14.3 amp hours and 15.0 volts. That is an interesting voltage for a lithium battery. So is this even lithium? Let's see. Oh, it does say lithium ion up there, so we'll see what's up with this one. So this one's got an interesting connector on the end, some kind of banana plugs and probably a communications or a BMS port. Well, that one's almost fully charged. Look at that. We got four out of five dots. That one's looking good too. We got three out of four there. This one's dated 2018. Now I'm not going to open all these on camera. I'll probably do some of the larger ones, but one of the more interesting smaller ones was this one that indicated 3200 milliamp hour cells. So I do want to see what's in that one. So I want to very carefully slice because if there is pouch cells in here, you don't want to accidentally slice through them. So we got some Panasonic NCR18650B. These are fantastic cells. And we already know that these are Sanyos, but let's open it up anyway. And they are the green rings. They're average performance in my testing. They're not the purple rings, which are probably the worst of the Sanyos. So these are fairly good. Uh, and the last soft-based battery pack is this one here. Yep, so these are the Samsung ICR18650-26. And these are some of my favorite Samsung cells. If you follow this channel, you know I probably have tens of thousands of these at this point. This one's already broken open, like it may have been dropped or something. I'm not sure what's up with that. So here we have Samsung ICR18650-22. Uh, these are 2200 milliamp hour cells, as opposed to these pink ones are 2600. If you're never sure on Samsung cells, if it's this ICR18650 dash, and the second number here is going to be the milliamp hour, so 22 means 2200 milliamp hours. So as we move up to some of these larger ones, uh, there's going to be some prying and pliers, and it's important to keep your safety in mind, so I've got gloves and safety glasses. And as always, a good reminder is that uh, you are not supposed to open these batteries, so you know, if you choose to do so, you are doing so at your own risk. Just be careful and mindful of what you're doing. Can't really tell what color ring cells those are. Those are definitely Sanyos though. But this battery is still charged, so I want to tread lightly on removing it here. I see there's a couple of screws there. That ring color is almost like a gray or a whitish color. But there are 10 of them here, and I do believe they are Sanyo cells. All right, so I got most of the battery packs open here. This is the longish black battery pack. It has uh, Sanyo cells as well. They are the neon green variant. The long grayish battery pack. We have Panasonic CGR18650 CG. The small grayish pack has more Samsung 26 cells, 2600s. And this largest pack was the most interesting, of course, and it was the most difficult to open here. So inside the case, there's a part number. I don't know, it's got some testing, voltage measurements, 30 minute wait, LED check. I'm not sure if there's some kind of generic cell. Well, I can see some printing underneath the white labels. 
but they are they are wrapped in a white wrapper here so let's see if we can peel one of these heat shrinks back up oh, yep they are they are doubly wrapped or double wrapped or however you want to pronounce the word molly cells so that's pretty cool they are a molly brand icr 18650j and some of these molly cells are actually manufactured in canada as opposed to china which is fairly interesting Lesser known, fairly reputable brands. So I'm excited for these cells as well. So we've got three wide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three times eight is 24 cells in this brick here. So off camera, I'm going to get all these cells cleaned up and removed from all this packaging. Hey guys, I'm working on, you can see some of the cells I got harvested over there already. But I wanted to talk a little bit about this Molly cell battery here. The build quality of this is just so impressive to me. First of all, each individual cell has two heat shrinks on. You've got the original one from Molly Cell, and then you've got this white insulator they put over it. They have these plastic separators between each of the parallel groupings. So this is a 4S 6P battery pack here. In addition to having these double wraps and these plastic insulators, they've got this piece of paper on top that thoroughly separates this nickel strip from touching the top of these cells. They have this entire battery pack wrapped in who knows how many layers of this tape and additional insulative paper on the side. And then to top it off, this wiring here, I don't know if you can see this, this is all UL rated wiring. This says, uh, this particular wiring is rated for 600 volts. It's AWM, 105 degrees Celsius. You know, this is top of the line stuff. All of this wire carries the same ratings here. It's, it's kind of impressive. I just, you know, I wanted to take a minute to, to show what, what quality build and craftsmanship looks like in one of these battery packs. All right, guys, so here are the results now that all the cells have been removed. I have a total of 81 cells. These ones are all Sanyo. The green ones are Panasonic. Other green ones are Samsung 22s, and the pink ones are Samsung 26s. And then all of the purple colored ones are the Molly cell. I didn't have any dead ones at all. The only ones that were questionable is there were three Samsung pink ones that are around 1.7 volts. So I don't know if that was due to a bad BMS. Maybe one of those three was self-discharging, bringing that grouping down a little bit. The listing on battery hookup advertises 60 to 80 cells, so we got one more cell than was advertised. This lot was $20, but if you use the discount code battery, it'll take 5% off, which brings it down to $19, and that calculates out to 23.5 cents per cell. So for testing these cells, I'm just using a mega cell charger. I am charging at 1000 milliamps and discharging at 1000 milliamps. I do have two of them, but unfortunately only one is working at the moment. They tend to keep blowing my power supplies. So we're just going to use this one charger and that way results are consistent across all of the cells. All right, so I completed testing all of these cells with the mega cell charger and here are the resulting capacities. I'm going to bring these up on a spreadsheet because I know it's a little difficult to see all the numbers as they're lined up here. All right, so I have a spreadsheet here of all the resulting capacities, the cell model number, the milliamp hour rating of the cell if it were brand new, the voltage as indicated by the data sheet, my tested milliamp hours, and then I calculated the watt hours based on that. And then I also have the state of health of the cell, which is the tested milliamp hours divided by the rated capacity. All in all, these cells performed fairly well. Uh, you can see a small grouping of the Molly cells did test pretty low. I guess that was one 6P parallel group. Um, majority of them are the 80s and 90s. Unfortunately, some of the Panasonics did test a little bit lower than I was anticipating. Uh, the Samsung 22s tested all in the high 90s, so those cells clearly have not been cycled very much. And the Sanyos all tested very high for the most part as well. Then on the right side here, I have two separate calculations. If I consider all cells in this lot, the average health was 89.5% of the rated capacity, and we tested out at 597 watt hours. And once again, the price was $19, so this calculates out to $31.82 per kilowatt hour. If we were to look at the cells with 80% or more remaining health, and I use the value 80% because this is typically where manufacturers rate the number of cycles on a cell, we have an average health of 92%, a tested capacity of 508 watt hours, and that calculates out to $37.37 per kilowatt hour. So regardless of how you look at these numbers, I still feel this is a pretty good deal for the cells you get here. Like I said, I'll upload this spreadsheet uh, to the forum so you guys can take a look and draw your own conclusions as well. 
You also have to factor in quite a few things too, like time spent harvesting these cells. Um, it took me, what, an hour or two to harvest and clean them all. But I was making a video, so that takes quite a bit longer than it normally would. If you've purchased any of these medical batteries and you want to leave any comments as to the type of cells you've received, I'd appreciate hearing those either in the video description or you can leave those in the forum post on Second Life Storage. Um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button before you go, and I'll catch you later.